Hey, what is up guys? Here we are with Acid Dragon again, and we're gonna go ahead and try to get this button up in the next, uh, looking at the wrong watch, uh, in the next hour, uh, probably about 40 minutes, we have to go pick up the little one, um, as I cover the camera with my big old glove finger. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try to button this up. Let's get to it. All right, so we'll start here in the engine bay. We'll come over here to the passenger side. You see that we got our custom cables ran. We got our distribution point mounted here. Everything's mounted up. We got this one right here that comes from the, the trunk where the battery is. This one goes to the fuse box. And the one that goes down there creeps around and gets hooked into the starter right there. Um, the ground wire, instead of coming off this top rail and coming here to the battery terminal and then down, a little mess, we basically just to the ground point there, followed the transmission, and bolted it right here to where one of the battery support plate was. So that's it. We hid these bundle of wires, and they're actually under the fuse box. Let's see if I can get you a picture of that. Yeah, you see that blue connector? Those are the big old connector glob that was right here. There's no more cruise control. I tidied up the, the vacuum control because I don't have a you know, a specialized ECU to, you know, not throw a check engine code. Alright, and then over here on the driver's side, we just cleaned it up a little bit, um, tucked one of the connectors, there was another connector that was over here, uh, I can't see, yeah, it was like over here, I tucked it underneath the ABS, the EGR solenoid mess that was right here, we extended with this tubing, which I'm going to go ahead and replace, it's just very squishy and can pinch and I don't want it to be messing up the vacuum but basically I extended that routed it into the fender and then inside here in the fender you can see the vacuum lines come in here and this is the EGR solenoid we also put the, the relays right here on the other side the ground points for everything are tucked up there basically just flipped them from the inside of the fender to the outside um, and then we tucked everything here we got everything, all our wires ready here. We got our replacement pump put in here um, and with the new connector spliced on. Um, so we're good there. And then we got our turn signal, which these are not the right turn signal uh, for this because these are the bulb socket style and not like the, the, I don't know what they're called, but they're like press in. These are, you know, ones that you put in and you have to twist to lock it in um, got the side marker the good thing is is the side markers <laughs> even have working bulbs I bought it and the guy like still had working bulbs in them so I don't even have to buy side marker bulbs which is awesome that's a couple dollars that I don't have to spend but yeah I got everything tucked away in the fender here's this good here's my lowering springs guys I really don't know what brand or manufacturer these is if anybody possibly might have some suggestions I would be super happy, um, but it's still on the, the stock strut. I'm going to upgrade to either, uh, I'm leaning towards Tian uh, coilovers, so we'll see how that goes. Got to paint these calipers when I get to that point. But for now, we're, we're just about done. Um, so we're going to wrap this up, and I'll bring you back as soon as hopefully we get the bumper button back up and ready to start it up. <laughs> 